Speaking of Yeet, so Yeet is in a new commercial. We saw him in Euphoria, right? I think that's how you know you you go in big leagues, bro. He he's chewing on some big league chew. If you played baseball, you know what that is. It's like some fire ass gum, and it's like it's like shredded cheese, but but gum. But anyway, now he's getting the placement with uh he got a feature from nike and dick sporting goods bruh so let's check out the uh the yeet nike dick sporting goods collab he's getting the uzi feature he's he's soon to get the drake feature at some point we don't know but the one feature that we didn't ask for but we needed is nike and dicks <laughs> and they made a joke that completely went over my head i was like how did how did they come up with this material, bro? At first, I was like, I didn't even realize what they said. What's gotten in here? I connected our Dick scorecard with our Nike membership. He's been looking forward to the perks. All right, y'all heard y'all heard Yeet's song. They said, "Looks like he's looking forward to the perks." People were saying that's corny, but come on, man. This is a Nike commercial. They got to keep it PG. And that was the most, I don't know, sly way of, of, of referencing the perks. And again, I didn't even realize it at first. And I don't even know if they meant to do that. But if they did, that, that the scriptwriter is a genius, man. Looks like he's looking forward to the perks. Oh my god. It's it's like uh you know how when you rewatch SpongeBob or like other cartoons and they make like wild sex jokes that like went over your head when you were a kid but like originally cartoons were actually created for adults. But so with these kid cartoons so that the adults like say you're like 6 years old or something so your parents can actually bear it because it's not supposed to, you know they don't want to be watching some bullshit like super PG shit. They gotta, they gotta be real sly with the joke. So salute to Nike, even though, you know, they be enslaving people in fucking China, making shoes for three dollars a piece and selling them for a hundred fifty. You know, this makes up for that. I'm looking forward to the perks too. But regardless of the jokes and whatnot, another huge placement. Artists do get paid for such placements, so. You know, not only is he getting the streaming income, but it looks like Nike, you know, LeBron, didn't LeBron like play uh, Sofago in one of the highlight reels for Bronny James? So the underground is bigger than you think. Or they're not even necessarily underground, but you know, the next gen, they really taking over without us even realizing. Them labels are definitely putting the groundwork in people. They definitely making sure that all the, I don't know, everybody knows who the fuck these new artists are. So Fago and Yeet really, really doing their thing. Now we just need to get Ken Carson on, I don't know, what's a big brand that he should be? I guess Cardi's, since he's affiliated with Givenchy, Givenchy, and others, maybe they'll get placements on designer brand type shit, as opposed to like Sofago and, didn't Sofago did a Nike, or a Jordan collab. I don't know what it was, but he was like modeling in it. He also did Phase, remember? A couple days ago. But Yeet's doing like super commercial shit. ASAP is doing, uh, Ken was in a Beats commercial. Oh, that's fire. I didn't even know that. But um, ASAP was also in a Mercedes one. So that's just big league shit. Yeet got 13 mil. Didn't he say he said taxes were gay or something? He said he made six mil last year, but he had to pay three. That's what happens, man. That's why you gotta expense everything and act like you made no money. That's what Amazon does. They made zero money. That's how they pay no taxes, technically speaking. 